In the last video, we saw how to create a header in the funnel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the top banner under the header, which we call hero section. So to create that, let's go to this plus icon. If you don't find this uh, plus icon, you can just go to sections, add section, drag a section from there and start creating. I'm going to create two column. And in this one, I'm not going to reduce padding. Instead, I'm going to give it 80, 80. Actually, let's give it 80, 120. And I need a background image for this section, which I've already downloaded. Now, let me go to the background image section. So as you can see, there's a BG image. I'm going to upload. And this is the image I want. It's uploaded, double click. And as you can see, it's in parallax mode. So it's sticky on the background as you scroll. If you want, you can just have it scroll with uh, with the whole page. So all you need to do is go to full center. That's it. It will scroll with your whole page. Now let's add some more content. The headline, this will be the H1. So let's say best groupers in let's say I'm going to left align this and in subheading I'm not going to add any sub headline. I'm just going to add a paragraph. Increase the font size. Increase the line height. And change the color. You want to create a gap between this and I can do it from here now i want a button here which will just have them call you directly so this button will be this and like the previous one i want some padding decrease the padding a bit for this one This is going to just say, I'm going to pick up the color from the logo and add this over here. This is going to say call and I'm going to link this number over here to call phone number. As you click on this, this will make a call directly from your phone. Now let's go to this section. I'm going to increase the width of the first column over here. So let me add a form in the second column. The form will be roofing landing page form that I previously created. As you can see, it's taken the whole section. So what I will do is I will go back to the form. This doesn't have to be that big. So we can do two things. First of all, we remove this from here. And we check if the form is in inline mode. So we can check it from here, inline forms. That's all right. I don't know why it's showing like this, not inline in this format. But I can make sure if it's working by... going to this link as you can see it's working fine now let's go back to the builder let's not worry about this height anymore if you want to have a background overlay like you you want to darken the background a bit you can do it from here so first you need to give it a background color 
let's give it black and then background image opacity light fade if you need more just say half fade but i like it in light fade mode so it's all right now hit save let's refresh the page there you go the hero section has been created if i click on this it will make a call 